Yeah, remember that when Marilyn Manson basically outed the president JFK for having an affair. She pops out of a cake, <laughs> no less, on his birthday, and she's all like, "Happy birthday, Mr. President." <laughs> It was just so, and she was even beautiful, I guess. Mm-hmm. That kind of made-up, blonde, 1960s way. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you could just see him squirming. Hey, do you mind? My wife is right here. I don't want her to get mad and, like, I don't know, arrange to have the back of my head blown off in a parade. <clears throat> Jackie Onassis. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger married their daughter. Yeah, what was her name? That was Jackie Onassis Jr. (laughs) No, it wasn't. Arnold Schwarzenegger married... uh, I'm pretty sure it was Jackie Onassis' daughter. And she became a skeleton. (laughs) So he knocked up the the maid. Yep. And this has been... The story of Arnold Swartza. Don't do it. What? Don't do it. You're going to get in trouble. Don't do what? Don't do this obvious joke. I haven't even finished his name yet. That's the joke. You're going to get in trouble. (laughs) Swartza nigger. Oh, thank you. Yeah. (laughs) The N-word, man. See, that's a question. How political do we want to get in our little stand-up routine? Should I talk about political correctness? Should I talk about what it was like to be on uh, YouTube? Because this is really where it's all happening. In the culture wars, when uh, when freedom of speech is finally being um, exercised, you know, in the 80s we talked about, oh yeah, we're the land of the free, but nobody cared about what you said. And there wasn't many people who even had a format to have, you know, the powers that be censor you. Most people live their whole lives never being censored for anything. So they go, yeah, this country has freedom of speech. But then since YouTube, now we know, no, actually there's a list of things you can't say. And that list keeps getting longer. And as Canada invades our culture, you know, we're going to start getting into serious legal trouble for things you say or not say. In Canada, you can go to jail for misgendering somebody. You can get a fine for words that you say that are against the rules. So far in America, they say, no, you can still say whatever you want. But I have to be very careful with that, how much of a space between the first half of Arnold Schwarzenegger's last name and the (laughs) last half of it. Or I get demonetized. Mm -hmm. No, no, you can say what you want. We didn't censor you. Yeah. We just took away, you know, your ability to make any money off of what you say. (laughs) That doesn't mean you can't say it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm constantly kind of going, eh. How much money do we really make on one video that gets 100 views? You know, a quarter? 50 cents? (laughs) Why? So I can make a joke with the N-word in it? But, hey, Diane's here. Hey, Diane. How you doing, Diane? La Maria Shriver. Thank you, Wally Bear. Maria Shriver. You know? I mean, that's a pretty good... uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger climbed the ladder. He came over to this country as an immigrant. Mm-hmm. Worked his way up to become a movie star. Yeah, huh. And he married a, essentially a Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Became governor. Then knocked up the maid and denied it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, everyone gives him a pass. Oh, he's the Terminator. I'm not going to judge him for cheating and lying for years to his wife. 
and his son by not even owning up to that. That's your son. That's, you know. How did uh, Arnold's son feel when he found out, yeah, you know that movie star you like so much and we, I sometimes clean his house? Yeah, Mom? He's your dad. Your dad's the Terminator. Really? That's great. No, nah, not so much. So you see, he's already married with his own family and he doesn't love you and he doesn't want anything to do with you. Well, I'm going to go back over there and clean his mansion because I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger's maid. Okay, see you, Mom. Yep, see you later, kid. And off she goes. Eventually, the, the, the kid looks so much like Arnold Schwarzenegger the striking is, un the, 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 the resemblance is undeniable. And so Arnold had to one day finally go, yes, you are indeed my son. What'd your mom name you? I don't know. I can't be bothered to remember. I'm going to call you Little Taco because I'm also a racist. Because, you know, my dad was a Nazi, a real Nazi. Because <laughs> I'm Arnold Schwarza. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do what, sweetie? You know what you're doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. Girls rock. I think my most racist and funniest joke I've ever done on the show was uh, when I talked about the N-word. And I said, you know, the N-word, uh, they say, uh, is the worst thing you can say. And I think the MF word is way worse than the N word. And, you know, who are, and, but the funny thing, the irony, the irony is only white people are offended by those terms. Uh, African American person will call each other the N word. And people say, no, no, they're saying nigga, soft R, that's fine. No, it's the same word, you guys. And, you know, who else is uh, the only people who ever really use the MF word, which is way worse, way worse of a word to call somebody. Um, and I said, who is, who's the only group of people who ever use the MF word? Mm -hmm. N-words. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. But it is. I mean, political correctness is a concern for rich, white, liberal women. They're the ones marching for the other people, the oppressed, you know. Black people are not concerned with, you know, what Indians call them, or <laughs> white people call them. You know. But that is what I love about Anishinaabe people. We really don't care. You can't insult an Indian by calling him an Indian. Hey, that's an I word. That's our word. We can call each other I, I words, but you call us, what, First Nations, Native Americans, indigenous people. You know. And the very premise is kind of racist because it's like the liberals come up and like, hey, what is a term we can use to generalize everybody who lived on this continent before Europeans came here. You know, of the 400 different tribes and whatnot, and all the different languages and diversity in every way possible. What is one term that we can use that won't sound, you know, racist? You know, we can't use Indian anymore. And we're like, what? What context do you want to sum up every Indian person in the country? I prefer the ruthless savages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could also be the name of our punk band. The ruthless savages. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, feel the noise. 